the operator company who want to drill the well with the process of tendering uh, tender is a um, document invitation document in which the operator company will provide their specification requirement for the rig please subscribe and press bell icon to receive more videos welcome back like um, what size of uh, drilling rig in terms of horsepower the operator is looking for how much should be the mud tank capacity how much should be the draw work and mud pump uh, horsepower what depth they would like to drill the well how much will be the maximum casing running weight while running the casing and drilling operation and um, what size of the BOP what to pressure rating of the BOP the operator want so they will provide a lot of specification for the drilling rig equipment in that tendering document so once this tendering document is submitted then the uh, different rig contractor who have the rig they will uh, prepare their proposal or bidding the bidding is the response of the tendering so in response of tendering rig contractor they will communicate their interest um, to the operator company with the document which is called bidding or proposal so they will prepare the proposal and uh, in the proposal they will show that as per your requirement our rig have this 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 specification and um, they will provide their uh, uh, price as well i mean the day rate and standby rate and the rig mobilization cost and all this stuff they will give in the bidding uh, document or in proposal so once the operator company get proposal and bidding from different rig contractor then it will be time to have the bid evaluation it is important to note over here that after the tender is submitted there will be a deadline within which the rig contractor they supposed to submit their uh, bidding or proposal so after that deadline they cannot submit their interest in the form of the bidding or proposal so bid, uh, for the bid evaluation the operator company who want to drill the well uh, with the help of the uh, drilling superintendent and drilling engineer they will evaluate the the bids or proposal submitted from different rig contractor so for bid evaluation they will see that um, which proposal from the different uh, uh, rig contractor it provide their required rig drilling rig specification so they will check their specification for different contractor and find out which one is the suitable rig for them they will also see the rig cost per day so how much is the rig cost uh, daily rig cost uh, i mean operational standby and how much is the uh, mobilization cost and all this stuff the operator will also see the previous performance the operator may ask that what is their previous track record in term of their performance what maximum depth they drill the well and they complete the well within the time and uh, what uh, problem experience they have in that um, uh, well and uh, what is the the rig previous safety record how much how many accident they have how many injuries they have and they will see the different you know safety standard parameter to evaluate that the rig crew work in safe way or no so the rig contractor will provide all this record so that operator uh, company he can evaluate their uh, proposal or bid another thing which operator would like to see is the rig crew training matrix they will see that rig crew who have which training they have and which training is missing and they may ask different other training as well as per their policy and their requirement rig crew experience and certification operator will ask the certification for the driller tool pusher rig manager assistant driller uh, that either they have the well control certificate and other sa uh, safety awareness certificate so they will evaluate also the certificate and their experience as well the operator will see the well control equipment their pressure rating and um, the size of the bop and all this stuff uh, the operator may also look into the rig accommodation that how many portable container uh, that will be used for the rig accommodation they have how many beds the rig accommodation have and what the facilities 
and the accommodation the rig contractor provide and uh, they will also look for the catering uh, price as well for the um, personal staying on the rig i mean in term of their food and uh, accommodation so after evaluating all this stuff they will finalize that which contractor rig the operator company is going to hire so they will then inform that company that we are going to hire your rig 